The MSS is designed to meet the requirements of both mission planning and mission analysis. The system offers commanders, as well as mission crew, significantly greater situation awareness, combined with much improved possibilities for briefing, planning, debriefing, and tactics development and training. The system is easily adapted to different platforms, such as transport aircraft like the C-130, or helicopters, such as the NH-90 multi-role helicopter, the Tiger, or the Puma. The following example shows how the MSS can be used for planning an airlift with the C-130. The objective is to transport medical equipment and supplies to an Allied military hospital in an insecure area of the world. It is known that there are hostile anti-aircraft systems in the area, mostly light mobile units. The Allied forces include a unit of NH-90 multi-role helicopters, whose primary task is to assist in search and rescue missions. The C-130 has a crew of four. In this example, the co-pilot is responsible for planning the mission. The unit has several stationary mission support systems placed in the planning room. The system runs on a standard desktop PC, equipped with two displays and a data transfer device, DTD, interface. The DTD is a memory unit used to transfer mission planning data to the aircraft and recorded mission data from the aircraft after flight. Depending on platform, the DTD can either be a specialized piece of hardware, a hard disk drive, or a PCMCI card. The mission support systems are connected to a local area network, enabling sharing of data and hardware resources, such as printers and projectors. The C-130 unit is connected to the Combined Air Operations Center, from where it continuously receives confirmed NATO data, containing everything from geographical information to threat data. The data is loaded onto the MSS, where it constitutes the tactical environment in which the mission planning is to be performed. One key element of the dataset is the Air Tasking Order, ATO, giving the outline of the mission. Based on the ATO, a new mission plan is created. The MSS automatically suggests a suitable route, taking into account various parameters, such as NOTAMs, valid airways, fuel consumption, and time restrictions. The route planner supports military as well as civil flight planning. The MSS helps the crew to interact with airports and air traffic control by generating flight plans and providing information about airport landing aid, radio frequencies, etc. Much of the interaction between user and MSS is made through the GIS system, and it enables detailed examination of the operational area, both in 2D and 3D. The mission includes a refuel stop at a civil airport in Central Europe. The MSS fuel calculation takes into account payload and flight envelope, as well as weather parameters, such as wind, air pressure, and temperature. Weather is an important part of all flight planning, and data from national weather information systems can be imported into the MSS. In addition to being displayed in the map, weather data is instantly accessible for system components needing it, for example, the route planner, 3D visualization, or weapon and EWS planning tools. The C-130 enters NATO-controlled airspace and is escorted to the target area by two Tornado aircraft. The target area consists of mountains, mostly covered by forests. There are hostile AA systems stationed on some of the peaks. The MSS toolset includes line of sight and system range calculations, as well as dynamic simulations and probability calculations. The transport mission is being planned. The Allied NH-90 unit is involved in a military search and rescue mission in the target area. As the MSS may be a part of the NBD network, recordings from missions carried out by other units may be shared over the network to serve as input to new mission plans. The crew use the MSS to rehearse the mission together. This involves, amongst a number of things, going through the route and major events. The last part of the mission through the target area is flown in real time in the MSS. Finally, mission data is transferred onto the DTD, and mission printouts are made. The crew brings a laptop MSS, in case changes to the original plan are needed. The portable system can also be used for mission evaluation, when the crew is not at their home base. The DTD is placed in the aircraft, updating its avionics systems. During the flight, a large amount of data from various systems and sensors on board the aircraft is recorded. After the mission, the pilot and his crew can analyze the recorded data in the MSS. The mission support system offers a complete set of tools for efficient post-mission analysis and debriefing, such as electronic warfare analyses and mission playback, summary and reporting functions. The result of the debriefing and post-flight evaluation constitutes an important input to the following missions. An efficient mission support system plays a vital role for today's airborne platforms. We have developed the MSS to be the most dynamic and efficient planning and evaluation system for the needs of today and the future.
Helicopters play a vital role in modern warfare. They will continue to do so in the future, and demands on their system capabilities are continually growing. The Saab TMS supports every phase of a mission, from planning and rehearsal, through execution, to evaluation and debriefing. Pre- and post-flight functionality is provided by the Mission Support System, MSS, a ground-based combined mission planning and evaluation system. The airborne part of the TMS is designed around the system's core based on Saab's Distributed Integrated Modular Avionics Technology, DIMA. Traditional electronic boxes have been replaced by standardized and easily modified modules which communicate over a local network. The core software constitutes a link to the helicopter's flight management system, which provides flight data needed by the TMS. The TMS is separated from flight critical systems by a firewall, so it can be upgraded without interference with basic aircraft functions. The TMS comprises various functionalities, such as a digital recording and transfer system, an advanced digital map system, simple generators, and a stores management system. It's customizable, scalable, and compatible with most avionic systems on the market today. Modern helicopters are usually equipped with multifunction displays, MFDs, on which flight data, engine status, tactical information, etc. is displayed. The TMS use these MFDs, so few or no extra displays are needed to integrate the TMS into the helicopter. For maximum flexibility, required information can be displayed on any MFD. The helicopter's various subsystems and sensors are managed by the TMS, which combines these assets in order to achieve excellent situation awareness and information superiority. To the cabin personnel, the TMS functionalities are accessible through the Mission Management System, MMS. Each MMS operator station is incorporated in a lightweight console. It's equipped with a keyboard, trackball and a large display. The main tactical display, MTD. Weapon and sensor panels are also incorporated. The MMS is an airborne command and control system capable of gathering, processing, presenting and distributing information, increasing the helicopter's capacity to interact with and lead other units. The following example shows how the TMS can be used in an ASW mission. The objective is to prevent submarines from attacking ships in the fairway leading to the harbour area. Both helicopters carry a tactical officer, as well as a sonar operator. The mission is led from the command and control center, on board an aircraft carrier at sea. Information is shared between the aircraft carrier and the helicopters, via the tactical data link. Sonar boys are used to extend the area surveyed by the two helicopters. Information from the boys is continually sent back to the helicopters. The tactical officer decides to use bi-static surveillance. One helicopter transmits with its sonar, while the other helicopter listens silently. Although simple in theory, the technique puts high demands on positioning and time synchronization between the helicopters, which is made possible by the TMS. The sonar operator in the passive helicopter suddenly detects an echo and identifies it as a possible submarine. The submarine is approaching the fairway, posing a direct threat to the surface vessels. And the helicopter unit gets clearance to a torpedo attack. The helicopter closest to the target moves into position, while the second helicopter provides the target coordinates. Tactical information is continuously shared between all units involved in the operation. During the flight, mission data, audio and video is recorded and used for post-flight analysis in the MSS. For tactical and economical reasons, multi-role capabilities is a key element in today's defence systems, and the helicopters that just performed the ASW mission have to participate in a tactical troop transport mission the same night. The objective is to transport a reconnaissance unit deep into uncontrolled territory. Four NH-90 helicopters will take part in the mission. Only one mission management system, used by the tactical officer in charge, is kept on board one of the helicopters. The other consoles are removed to make room for troops and equipment. The operation is conducted in the shelter of darkness. Support is provided by two combat helicopters. Electro-optical sensors and night vision goggles guide the pilots through the night. All equipment in the cockpit and the cabin, including the MMS consoles, is NVG compatible. The digital map system displays real-time information about the terrain, mission route and other spatial information. The troops are briefed using a small MMS console. Suddenly, an unknown anti-aircraft system is detected. Its position is confirmed by the electronic warfare system, and the tactical officer quickly decides upon a new route in order to avoid the threat. The route is automatically distributed through data link to every helicopter in the unit. The terrain is monitored before the helicopters begin to land, so that pilots and troops can prepare themselves. The 
The Saab TMS offers unrivaled mission superiority and the highest flexibility in terms of future upgrades and modifications, guaranteeing that you're always ready to face any challenge. So when there's a sudden distress call to the helicopters, there's no hesitation. This is Hawk One. We'll have your men back in no time. The modern battle space environment, high density and dynamic. Joint operations with air, ground and naval forces under multinational command and control. Changing operational needs call for weapon systems that are updated and improved throughout their life cycle. A true challenge when designing mission training and tactical support systems. Systems that have to be in pace. Our complete range of mission training and tactical support systems, from desktop solutions to full mission simulators, support every need in today's advanced weapon platforms. Gripen, the first of a new generation fighter in service, is a multi-role system designed to meet today's and tomorrow's operational requirements. It's prepared for future upgrades and implementation of new functions. Just as the world changes, so does the Gripen system. We have established a development process where all requirements for the entire weapon system are captured early, thus influencing its design right from the start. All steps, from early prototyping, through construction of software components, partial system testing, to full system test and verification, are influenced by the special requirements from the mission training and tactical support system. Software tools and components, as well as the aircraft onboard software, can be used in the mission training and tactical support system without any need of modification and additional testing. The Design Once approach, common for all tools and software used to develop Gripen, assures that any changes to the aircraft are automatically reflected by the support systems. cooperation with the end user, we deliver advanced mission training and tactical support systems for transport, helicopters and fast jet aircraft. Cost-effective and innovative solutions that enable pilots to be experienced in advance. To be in pace.
Success in the air domain naturally requires state-of-the-art aircraft systems. Equally important, though, is the ability to lead your forces in the most effective way. Saab delivers air supremacy through our world-leading aircraft systems. In addition, we have half a century of experience from delivering and upgrading C4I systems for air, land and sea domains. Saab develops systems that are fully modular and flexible, enabling you to buy only what you need, creating the foundation for a step-by-step -step growth. This way you can develop your capabilities in accordance with today's rapid changes in needs and requirements. The Saab C4i solutions are built on a number of separate functions that are merged into one functional and operational system. Each customer has the freedom to choose only the functionality needed at a specific time. Selected functions can either be delivered as a separate system or be integrated in existing legacy systems. By the flexible modular approach, Saab can create a seamless integration from old legacy to new modern C4i solutions, solutions that can handle the complexity of a total nation. We have the capacity to handle every technical challenge. The modular concept also gives other advantages, encouraging partnership and cooperation. At Saab, we have the capability, flexibility and real will to create partnerships with other industrial partners in order to create optimal solutions for our customers. By working in close cooperation with partners, customers and end users, we always ensure that each customer's unique requirements are fulfilled today and in the future. Air Defense C4i from Saab. Control at your command. Our world, where resources are limited, but threats are not. Security is based on cooperation, and cooperation relies on flexibility. Saab has the proven ability to develop robust, high-technology security solutions, integrating various technical systems to work fluidly together. Early on, we realized the value of flexibility and reusability to reach results and cost-effectiveness. Saab today offers solutions for efficient civil and military cooperation in a wide range of areas. For complex harbor situations and coastal waters, the MSV concept provides a brand new way of responding to today's asymmetric threats. A standard vessel is equipped with a state-of-the-art command and control system, which enables full utilization of information from all available sources. By adding the appropriate equipment and human resources, the vessel is optimized for the task at hand. The MSV can thus provide multi-purpose capabilities such as surveillance, disaster relief, mine warfare and direct threat encounter. A number of modules are available such as sea surveillance sensors and radar equipment, remotely operated underwater vehicles, missile systems, fire combating equipment, environmental threat handling and rescue equipment. The multiple-use capability offered by the MSV concept enables cooperation between decision-makers of different levels and organizations, civil as well as military. The MSV is proof of Saab's capability of developing new and innovative solutions, delivering flexibility, cooperation and security. Success in modern military operations often depends on mobility and communications. Ever-increasing amounts of information must be exchanged between constantly moving units, spread over vast geographical areas. A real challenge for today's military communication solutions. The Saab Swedish SATCOM on the Move terminal is a high-performance broadband communication solution for land and sea applications. Close to 100% availability worldwide is possible due to the terminal's four-axis design, allowing any satellite within range to be utilized, regardless of your global position. True two-way symmetrical broadband capacity, enabling high-quality video conferencing and real-time distribution of sensor imagery, is provided with the use of a high-performance antenna and feed system from Swedish. 
Thanks to Saab's GPS INS supported stabilization system, which keeps the antenna directed at the satellite no matter what, full performance is maintained even when moving at high speeds or over rough terrain. In the event of signal loss, for example due to obstruction, the satellite link is instantly reacquired when the line of sight is resumed. Compact design, lightweight and low power consumption makes the terminal suitable for mounting on most types of vehicles and vessels. Both bolt-on and platform specific integration solutions are available. Our SATCOM on the move terminal is compatible with existing legacy systems. It supports mesh IP network connectivity and is prepared for future conversion to X and KA band, securing previous investments and allowing future upgrades. Availability, performance, easy deployment and low through life costs are qualities that make the Saab Swedish terminal the most competitive SATCOM on the move solution available. Move fast, stay connected. Saab Swedish. Det vi ska se är en uppvisning med en förare från en vanlig division. Flygplanet är ett standardflygplan med alla beväpningsparker och allting monterat. Det finns andra som plockar av grejer och sätter in en starkare motor och annan programvara. Men det ni ska få se nu det är vad ni är på. Vi har de här vägbaserna, vi mer mot kalla kriget i landet. 
Och eh, det är inget konst att få stopp på en sån kort sträcka. Eh, andra operatörer, om de får en bomb mitt i banan så kan de bara inse Ja, då kan vi varken starta eller landa för en gripning operatör. Ja, då har vi dubbelt så många banor. Ja, lite hur var det då. Men eh, den är otroligt eh, fältmässig. Och en tekniker och fem vänpliktiga gör den klar för flygning på tio minuter i skarpt läge. Beväpnar, tankar och gör allting. Och där behöver man då inte så många flygplan för att få samma operativa effekt. Ju kortare tid planet behöver stå på marken. När man landar gripen så, ni såg inte nu för det är lite krökt markryta här. Men man sätter i huvudhjulet, släpper direkt ner noshjulet, eller noshjulet. Och det som händer så fort huvudställen tar mark så går lösbromsarna ut automatiskt, piloten gör ingenting. Sen så fort man har noshjulet i marken så går huvudhjulet uh, över i lägen i framtura. Det blir en fantastiskt bra lösbroms. Framkantens, eller bingens framkant, kraft går ner för att ta bort lyftkraft. Och Fighter is the 4.5 generation fighter aircraft with multi row and swing row capability. Network centric operation capability make the Crippen suitable for our force modernization to achieve our goal and vision of becoming quality air force. The capability to use several weapon systems both in our inventory and modernized weapons such as the RST and Meteor as well as the anti ship missile RBF 15 will make the Crippen our major fighting force in the near future. เป็นครื่องบินขับไปในประสงค์ยุคที่ 4.5 มีความคล่องตัวสูงสามารถปฏิบัติภารกิจได้หลายหลากหลายรูปแบบขีดความสามารถในการปฏิบัติภารกิจในระบบเครือข่ายผ่านระบบเชื่อมโยงข้อมูลทางยุทธวิธีส่งผลให้ครื่องบินเป็นเครื่องบินขับไล่ที่มีความเหมาะสมสําหรับการพัฒนาไปสู่การเป็นกองทัพอากาศคุณภาพขีดความสามารถในการใช้วุฒิได้หลากหลายรูปแบบทางวุฒิที่มีกองทัพอากาศมีประจำการอยู่แล้วและวุฒิวิถีสมัยใหม่ที่ได้รับการพัฒนาขึ้นเช่นจรวดน้ำวิถีอากาศสุอากาศไอริสตีและเมทิโอและจรวดโจมตีเรือผิวน้ำ ABS 15จะทําให้ครื่องบเป็นเครื่องบินขับไล่ที่เป็นกำลังหลักและเคี่ยวและสำคัญของกองทัพอากาศในอนาคตครับ
This is without any questions the most technology advanced fighter in the world. Gripen is here now. It's available. Superior situation awareness achieved with highly advanced data fusion. With the latest generation of Acer Raider and highly advanced data links, I know exactly what's going on around me, even behind me. This aircraft is definitely defining the future. Equipment is very easy to handle in super cruise and above. It definitely has an edge. It's truly a pilot's dream. The aircraft carries a wide range of weapons and stores of your choice. choice. Hi there, my name is Frederick Mischler, I'm a Saab Grip and Test and Display Pilot. If you follow me, you will have your ride of your lifetime. So please, buckle up.
dentro. Performance of Supersonic Fighter. State of the art avionics. Multi roll. Now, your air becomes much stronger. Fighting Eagle FA 50. T 50 Golden Eagle, the optimal advanced jet trainer to train 21st century fighter pilots. Based on T 50. KAI has developed Aerobatic T-50B and lead-in fighter trainer TA-50. FA-50 is a powerful multi-purpose combat aircraft born from extending the tactic capability of TA-50. FA-50 has maximum power of 17,700 pounds and maximum takeoff weight of 27,300 pounds with its GEF 404-102 engine and its full length of 43.1 feet. Full width, 31 feet. Full height, 15.9 feet. And wing area, 255 square feet. FA-50, based on T-50, is capable of loading armament and radar to enhance the combat capability. And it's an advanced jet trainer optimized for training the next generation fighter pilots. Capable of simultaneous tracking of two targets and has wide detection area with its high resolution map application. And it also has excellent air to ground attack capability. It has excellent viability with installed radar warning receiver and countermeasures dispenser system that are applied to the cutting edge fighter. By sharing a real-time battlefield information with air and army forces with its tactics data link capability, close joint operation capability, and mission success rate are very high. With its night vision equipment, it enhanced night tactics attack mission capability. It has precise and threatening offense power to burn enemy aircraft and a camp to the ground with the basic weapons such as air-to-air, air-to-ground missile, and automatic cannon, but also with the precise guide missile such as joint direct attack munition. FA-50, a strong fighter and state-of-the-art trainer, will guard your air solidly.
We're glad we're finally back to Supersonic Age. trainer is built by Korea Aerospace Industries. Under the terms of the government-to-government -government deal, KII will deliver the jets to Manila in the next 38 months. It follows similar contracts with Iraq last year and Indonesia in 2011. KAI also has its sights set on selling the F-A-50 to Peru, Botswana and the United Arab Emirates. The contract comes after President Pakane and Philippine President Benigno Aquino signed a memorandum of understanding on expanding the defense cooperation back in October. <laughs>
너넉고 푸른 창공에 우리의 꿈이 날고 있습니다. 현실로 이룬 타이의 꿈이 힘차게 비상합니다. 타이가 만들어가는 새로운 하늘, 또 다른 미 가슴 벅찬 새로운 감동을 타이가 준비합니다. 첨단 기술과 경제적, 기술적 파급 효과로 인해 국가 경쟁력을 좌우하는 성장 동력으로 부상하고 있는 항공우주산업. 항공우주산업의 중심에 타이가 있습니다. 항공기의 설계에서부터 최종 조립에 이르기까지 대한민국 유일의 항공기 체계 종합 전문 기업 타이 독자 모델 항공기로 개발된 기본 훈련기 KT-1은 공군의 전투기 조종사 양성 임무를 성공적으로 수행하며 항공기 수출 시대를 열어가고 있습니다. 세계 최고 성능을 지닌 초음속 호동 훈련기 T-50 골든 이글은 탁월한 기술 경쟁력을 갖추고 있어 지속적으로 수요 증가와 함께 21세기 세계시장 선점을 기대하고 있습니다. 이외에도 공군의 주력 전투기인 KF-16 전투기와 국내 독자 개발한 무인 항공기 사업을 성공적으로 수행하였습니다. 한반도 지형에 적합한 육군의 차세대 헬기 개발 사업 군용 민수용 헬기를 포함한 항공기의 수명 연장과 성능 개량 사업을 수행하고 있습니다. 그리고 대형 민항기의 기체 구조물과 F-15K 아파치 헬리콥터의 동체 등을 생산하여 납품하고 있으며 민항기 국제공동개발사업과 미성사업, 방산전자사업에도 참여하고 있습니다. 차근차근 준비하고 하나하나 이루어가는 꿈을 향한 타이의 열정 더 멀리, 더 높이 세계로, 미래로 타이가 더큰 꿈을 펼쳐갑니다. 항공우주 분야의 독자 개발 능력을 확보하고 국제 경쟁력을 높이기 위한 타이의 끊임없는 노력 세계 초우량 항공우주 기업을 향한 타이의 변화는 이미 시작되었습니다 타이는 설계에서부터 지원 평가에 이르는 항공기 개발의 모든 과정을 독자적으로 수행할 수 있는 지금의 능력에 만족하지 않고 타이의 기술로 만든 세계 최고 성능의 항공기가 지구촌의 모든 하늘을 비상하는 큰 꿈을 이루기 위해 도전과 혁신을 멈추지 않습니다. 2010년 세계 10위권 항공우주 기업으로 성장하여 마침내 우리의 기술로 한국형 전투기 개발을 실현할 카이 카이는 꿈을 현실로 이룰 큰 힘을 가지고 있습니다. 카이가 세계 항공산업의 중심이 됩니다. 상공을 향한 인간의 꿈을 실현하고 인류의 미래를 보다 풍요롭게 만들어갈 그 이름 세상을 바꾸고 미래를 바꿀 꿈의 기술을 카이가 만들어갑니다. 안녕하세요, my name is Mike Griswold with Lockheed Martin Aeronautics. I'm here at the Dubai Air Show, representing the T-50 Advanced Jet Trainer. A lot of interest in the region for new trainers, particularly with the introduction of advanced fourth generation aircraft and also the possibility of fifth generation aircraft being flown by regional air forces. So they need a new trainer in order to adequately prepare their pilots for those advanced aircraft. What the T-50 brings is the ability to train both the very low end of the pilots that are just coming into the advanced jet trainer, as well as to be able to prepare them adequately for the high performance jet aircraft. T-50 aircraft today is configured to look very close to an F-16. As F-35s start becoming more predominant in air forces, we have the ability to adapt the T-50 to more closely mimic the cockpit of an F-35 for that true fifth generation training. T-50 was developed in cooperation with Lockheed Martin and currently we are trying to sell this aircraft to, to the international customers. It can reach Mach 1.5, it has great avionics, state-of-the-art visualized design. Our final goal is to capture the U.S. Air Force's TX program. T-50 is a lot of 
I was really good to be here in the UK and hope that everyone can enjoy the show. I'm Mike Griswold with Lockheed Martin Aeronautics, and we're here at the Singapore Air Show, which is the largest air show in Asia, representing the T-50 aircraft, multi-role trainer. We're partnered with uh, Korean Aerospace, a, a long-time industry partner of Lockheed Martin. We co-developed the T-50 aircraft explicitly to perform the role that we're now representing it for advanced jet training. The Korean Air Force has fully integrated the T-50 into their training program, replacing the T-38s that they used previously. In addition, showing the versatility of the T-50 platform, they're incorporating it into a light combat role within the Korean Air Force. Again, it exemplifies the versatility of the T-50 platform. The Korean Air Force uses the T-50 as their aerial demonstration aircraft in an in a, uh, outstanding program, which they call the Black Eagles. The Black Eagles are performing here at the Singapore Air Show and clearly are the star of the show. So there's a lot of demand for, for new trainers in the world today as, uh, as the training requirements are, are elevated with fifth-gen aircraft coming online. T-50 has already had good success in the market with a recently completed program with Indonesia and a new program that was just announced selling T-50 trainer aircraft to Iraq. Now I think we're so excited at Lockheed to be working with Korean Aerospace on T-50. We think it's the right trainer for the U.S. Air Force market as well as Air Forces around the world.